What's going on guys, Brian's here. Just recording a recap video based on the post that was published here for June 14th. Now the resources tab is going to have articles that will be posted whenever there's something important to highlight for the day and hopefully it can help you guys have a little bit more confidence in your day trading or your intraday scalping. And if you've never heard about reversion to the mean, that's essentially what you want to be using the intraday zones for. You're pretty much scalping from the intraday zone back up to VWAP. So this article is outlining that, but again, in case it's difficult to follow in text, I will try to record videos also to make it a little bit easier to follow for, for some of you that learn better from watching video. So what we have right here is the price action from today. The trading goes in alphabetical order, so from A to B. So this is essentially saying the first entry, this is the first exit, next entry, next exit, and so forth. The gray level on the chart that you see on the chart will always be VWAP, so the volume weighted average price. In case anytime I ever share a screenshot, the gray level is always VWAP. This level right here, this light lavender line is the two-day anchored VWAP, and then we have the intraday zones right here. We have the quant trading app weekly support level, and then the weekly two sigma support level. So those are the levels on this chart right here. As we look at a this is be the first entry so let's just hide that image and we scroll down we want to review all of the long trades because again whenever you're trading reversion to the mean you're pretty much thinking that price has gone too far from what the average weighted price is for today which is VWAP in this case why would you be trading these types of strategies the main thing to know is about the context of the market environment tomorrow which is Wednesday is the FOMC announcement day usually before a big move in the market it tends to be a little bit choppy or it tends to consolidate and this is usually when you when you want to trade these types of strategies because it's very likely to just bounce around for the whole day and if you've been struggling to figure out which day to trade certain strategies just take that into consideration will today be a trending day will the market just go straight up about two percent or will it just go straight down for two percent if it's just going to trend to the trend for the day then it's most likely going to break a lot of the key levels and then there's a different way in which you would trade these zones that's called the break and retracement so let's just say the market was to break down from here and then it came back to the level and then it was rejected you would take the trade with the continuation with the assumption that it's going to continue going lower and then the same thing applies if it's going to higher if it breaks the level comes back retraces and then holds you want to take the trade in continuation but that's on days in which you expect there to be a lot of momentum as we scroll down right here let's take a look at the recap for this so if you're day trading you can just stick to the at the money options especially with something at the spy because there's zero day options and then there's at least one day till expiration options which expire every single uh, trading day so if you're trading on a on a thursday say for example you can trade the friday expirations if you're trading on a wednesday you can trade the wednesday expirations which would be the same day expirations because you're scalping so either the play is going to work out right away or it's not and this right here would be the at the money call so this is the 374 call and if we were to go back to right here we can see that this would be the uh, intraday zone. Now, as soon as the market opens, you guys know we already have the levels. So you can build out your watch list the first five minutes of the day or so, just adding the strike prices to your watch list and think or sim. And that way you can just click between them. And once price gets to the level, you'll you'll already know beforehand which strike price you're going to trade. So the 374 would be this call right here. And if we look at the 370 call, if we scroll back down right here and we pull it up, we can see that this is the 374 call. So I put the alphabetic uh, the alphabet letters right here corresponding with where price was. So at A right here, that would be the exact same price that A was right here. So the assumption is, okay, we get to the zone and then you want to take a trade. You just go to the options chain or you should already have it on your watch list and you grab an at the money call. Now these are idealized entry prices. This is if you're really quick and you just hop in with no hesitation. So we'll just use this just because the math is pretty simple, but we can assume that the entry would be about 425. More realistic fill would probably be about 440. But again, for simplicity purposes, as I'm just outlining the opportunities that are presented to us every single day, this right here is a 425 entry and then everything that I base on these posts is all based on a one contract so if you're scaling up you can be in five of these contracts ten of these contracts but again just to keep things simple it's all based on one contract so a would be the first entry and B would be your first exit and why would we get out at B because of the fact that it hit VWAP so you're pretty much just scalping it right here up to VWAP and then you take your profit and then you close the trade because it's a scalp if you enter that's if you re-enter that's a different setup that's not the reversion to the mean trade 
trade. So you're in here, you're out here, the average return is about 20% and the that would be about $85 per contract. So if you're in 10 of these, you're walking away with 850 bucks. If you're in just one of them, that's still $85, which is a great return from a percentual basis. And you're only in the trade for about five to six minutes or so here. Anywhere between five to 10 minutes is generally going to be a good uh, intraday scalp. Now, one thing to also keep mind of is I don't have a screenshot on this post. I will add it after I'm done recording the video as I actually forgot. The VIX is extremely high right now on this day. So the VIX was over 33 today. So with the VIX being that high, the at the money options are going to be a little bit more expensive or any option for that matter is going to be a little bit more expensive, especially the at the money options. So during an environment when the VIX is not as high, the at the money option will probably be going for about three bucks or so, or maybe even 250 in a very, very low volatile market. But as we jump forward right here, we don't have to go through every single entry. At this point, I think you guys should pretty much uh, get the gist of it. We're talking about entering at A, exiting at B, and then so forth, and it's just rinse and repeat. So as you can see, we have three winning trades right here. This would be one, this would be two, and then this would be three. And each time you're talking about entering here, exiting here. So $85 times three is essentially what your profit would be. And the first loss if we look at right here is all the way later in the day this is at g enter the trade here you have a doji candle so it looks pretty good and the assumption is that we're going to head back up to vwap as we can see the trade actually worked out for a bit but it didn't quite make it all the way to the profit target if you're holding exactly for vwap and then it reverses you can either set your stop losses break even or in this case, you would be closing the trade once price closes below the intraday zone. So if you're entering at G and you're exiting at H, this would be the first loss of the day. If we come back to here to see how the option performed, the entry entry would be about 375 and the exit at 325. So about a loss of 13.5% or $50 loss. I believe I did the math right here. So if we just scroll down, we can just see the, that would be deducted from the total p and the day. So right now we would be up about two, um, $205 because if we scroll back up here and actually no we don't have to scroll back that far we can just look right here so the total would be $255 because it was $85 three times and then this would be the fourth trade in which we took a $50 loss so that would bring our total PL for the day up $205 and again this is just with one contract each time and as we continue to scroll down we can see that right before that uh, first major that first loss occurred the market blessed us with a very, very clean opportunity right here because we actually sold all the way off to Two Sigma support. And then you guys already know buying at Two Sigma support is a great place to take a trade, even if you're not necessarily swing trading and just looking for a quick scalp. So that would be the entry at I and then the exiting at J, which would be VWAP right here. Now, the uh, another thing is also a good place to take profit would be right here if you're scaling into the position. So depending on how much size you have, if you only have one, it's unfortunate because you want to take profit right here. But let's just say for the exact examples of this uh, post right here, we're taking profit at VWAP each time. The result in this case would be from I to J. Here would be the at the money call because now we would have to be trading a different strike price or you can stick to the same strike, but I want to keep it using the at the money option. So 372 purchase would be around $3.50 and then the exit at J at VWAP would be $4.75. As you can see, a lot of these trades, they tend to go a little bit higher and so, but I'm not pointing out the maximum profit. It's just about where you should be looking to enter and where you should be looking to take your exit if you're following the rules. So this is $125 return or about 35% profit. So this already eats up the, the loss from the trade prior. And if we look, the total profit for the day so far would be $330. Moving right along, let's just take a look at the short trades at the day. So this would be the SPY, but now I've erased the previous letters and now we're looking at the first entry, which would be A here, exiting at B, which would be low of day at this point, and then the next entry being at C and then closing it once we get down back to the intraday zone. So why would be what would be the reasons for this trade? It's just based on the two-day anchor view up. If price is really far away from the zones so or we're right in between, so this is price being in between the intraday upper zone and the intraday lower zone, and you don't want to wait all day for price to get up here to then look for a short, or you don't want to wait for price all the way down here to then look for a short because that might never happen and then some days you'll find yourself really really waiting too long that's where a couple of the other levels come into play so we have the uh two-day anchor view up we can see right here there's one way to, to to take this type of trade. You can take it, you know, if, if you're really quick or if you're able to read the tape and access con and you use different tools for confluences such as book map or the volume profile from the previous day. I believe this was the point of control. It was somewhere in this area here. So you have confluence from the volume profile. You're using something like book, book map. You can read the liquidity. Maybe you're great at reading the tape. Whatever other tools in which you're using, you know, you're going to see you want, you're want, you want to look for some sort of confluence or some sort of other edge around the two day anchor view app. And in this case, we got it. If you're still new to trading and you're still a little bit confused, 
confused about which trade should you take or not you don't want to get in pretty quickly you can always just wait for price to go past the level and then come back below it because once price breaks back below it it means that the opposing side is now re regaining control so in this case the bulls were in control but now we came right back below the level and now bears have a clear level to risk off of because anybody shorting below the two-day anchor view up is going to have their stop loss right over the high of, high of day which is often abbreviated as hod high of day so this is a great opportunity to take the trade here and if we're looking for additional confluences again the volume profile had the point of control right around here i believe it was exactly at the top and then as we scroll down here we can take a look at this is the qqq so everything so far is the five minute time frame we can see that the qqq actually rejected quicker it put in a very nice inverted hammer and this a corresponds with the a on the spy here's the two-day anchor view up and this is also the weekly level right here that the uh, q's broke down below earlier in the week, which was yesterday on a Monday, and then we retraced to it and then ended up being rejected. So we have a little bit of confluence with the queues. And if we were to look at the at the money put option for the SPY, at that point, the at the money put was a 375, and it would be going for about $3.75, so $375. And the return on this trade was about 40% or $150 per contract. Now, again, same situation, you'd want to scale out at VWAP either on the, the VWAP on the option in this case actually ends up coinciding with VWAP on the uh, SPY. So if you're uh, entering a trade like this and you're scaling in around up here, you're pretty much taking some risk off of VWAP. So you want, if, you're, if you're in five, 10 contracts, you wanna take maybe four or five, six contracts off of VWAP because we might not always continue to sell off, but your target if you're shorting here is always going to be lower day. If you're a short, your target, your first real target is always going to be VWAP. If you're shorting above VWAP, your second profit is going profit target is going to be low of day because we might not always get the break of low of day and then it works in reverse for high of day if you're long and you're buying below VWAP you want to take profit at VWAP your next take profit is going to be high of day and then you want to scale out as price continues to go higher that's just good practice for intraday trading um, if we were to scroll back here and we can see our second entry so the queues then later in the day bounced all the way back up to the weekly level again. So this is just basic technical analysis or not even technical analysis. This is just basic price action. Previous resistance becomes future support and previous support becomes future resistance. In this case, this is what's supposed to be a support. Q's broke down below it. So now it's acting as resistance every time it comes up to it. So this is actually acting as resistance, whereas normally we would treat it as support. Right here, we have another in, we have another indecisive candle. It's not quite a doji, but this is a little bit of confluence to use if you're just good at reading price action right here. So using that, if we look at the SPY, we can see that the SPY didn't quite come up to the two to anchor view up, but we have the inverted uh, hammer candle right there. So that's a little bit of confluence between the two if you're just looking at price action. So again, another viable reason to re-enter the same put contract because at that point it's pretty much the same at the money contract. And we can see you have plenty of time because each of these are five minute candles. So anywhere from five to six or seven minutes or so you have to get into these uh, trades. So assuming you're getting in around 375 or four bucks, and then you're taking profit again at lower day, scaling out at VWAP and scaling out here. Again, $150 profit return or 40%. So we can use 20% to 40% as what would be an expected return for you. So what we're seeing is that the average return right now is about 20%. Even if we're being conservative and we're saying 15%, you're essentially risking about 15% to make about 20% if you take a stop loss right below the close of the zone. And this happens to be a really good day. Now, we've been getting a lot of really good days like this as of lately because Price has been making huge moves and then it's just been consolidating for a couple days. But if we were to do the math and add it all up together, so $150 uh, times two is $300 in which we would have gotten as a really good profit potential on the short trades. We add that to our long trades and it ends up being $630 profits on the day. Out of seven trades, only one was a loss, so about an 85.7% win rate. If you are reviewing this video in the future, just know that the links to a lot of these are always pushed right here. So if I were to press this, it would pull up the chart within Quant Trading App itself, and you can come back and view this uh, date and time right here, and actually view. So this would be the entry, exit, entry, exit, entry, um, and then the exit uh, right here, entry, and then the stop loss, and then the entry, and then the exit. So you can always come back and, and uh, re re replay and see how you would have performed. And this is not just for today. This pretty much works. I would say out of three out of five days out of the week, the market is generally going to be a little bit more range bound or choppy. So this was Monday. We can see right here the market hits the intraday buy zone or the intraday zone 
bounced right up to VWAP, take profit, and then it got rejected right here, and then it ended up selling off back to VWAP. So if you're scalping, you know, you want to be conscious of these types of opportunities. And even if we were to jump back to uh, Friday, we can see a similar situation. So from Friday to today, plenty of opportunities to scalp. Here are uh, Friday, market sells off right here, hits the intraday zone, pops to VWAP, then hits the intraday zone, pops up to VWAP, hits the intraday zone, pops to VWAP. So that's three scalps right there that worked out pretty well. So three trades right there. We have uh, seven trades for today, and then we had a couple yesterday. So that's about 11 trades, and only one did not work. That's a really high... Uh, probability right now and for scalping if you're getting an average return of about 20 percent per trade and let's just say you're the type of trader that keeps a fixed stop loss in a fixed position size of about a thousand dollars per trade and you're getting about 20 percent return on every single trade it's about 200 dollars per trade that's a really nice return just scalping and keeping it pretty simple and not overwhelming yourself just letting price hit the levels Make sure that there's some sort of confirmation. Look for a little bit of confluence. Here was the previous day's low of day. So we have that confluence right here. And then you can see the buyers come in and drive price up. You just want to make sure you're disciplined. And if this was to happen, you take your stop loss. You know, don't fight it in case because you never know if this two, if the two sigma level was not here, price could have sold off and continued going all the way down here. So you don't want to be holding on to an at the money option that expires in a day or the same day expiration. Just cut it for a small 15, 20% loss. You should never really exceed more than a 20% loss on something like this. And if you guys want to see a little bit more of the recaps like this, let me know, as well as if this really uh, helps you guys. Um, the, these articles right here will help you guys uh, train your or create good discipline for your day trading. And if the videos also help, if it if it's not completely clear here, but I want to come up with some sort of easy system that it's just like here's a post and here's a b c d e f g and then you guys can just follow along because i'm not always going to have the time to be able to type out and explain everything like this as well as explain in uh multiple videos so thanks for watching catch you guys the next time take care